Hi, I'm Taylor Gurken with Peghead Nation and I'm here with one of Taylor's limited edition 50th anniversary guitars, this particular one being the 314 CE LTD. You may have seen my recent demo of the uh, 814 Builders Edition uh, 50th anniversary guitar and uh, there are several more in this series that are going to be released this year. Um, this particular one is based on the standard 314 which is one of their most popular models, the Grand Auditorium cutaway guitar. Uh, the 300 series has always been on the somewhat more affordable spectrum of Taylor's uh, catalog. And um, this uh, builds on that tradition and uh, really creates a very cool variation on that particular instrument. 300 series tailors have most often used Sapeli wood back and sides and that is exactly what Taylor continues to use on this guitar. Sapeli is uh, often called African mahogany. Um, it's very similar to mahogany in its qualities, both in its appearance and its tonality. Um, it tends to be a little bit more available than uh, Central American or South American mahogany. And uh, so we've seen it on these somewhat more entry level uh, instruments that is offered. On this particular guitar, um, I find this indistinguishable from a lot of mahogany. As a matter of fact, when I first got this guitar out of the case, I thought, huh, maybe for this limited edition they actually used South American mahogany for this guitar. But it is Sapele, but it is some of the most beautiful looking Sapele I've ever seen. On the top of this guitar, um, the guitar uses Sitka spruce, which is traditionally also used on 314s, even though some 300 series guitars over the last few years have been made with mahogany tops, so that they're hardwood tops, uh, which you can usually tell by their, their darker appearance. However, in the case of this guitar, even though it is Sitka, like other 314s, um, it is a torrified Sitka. And uh, Taylor has its own uh, sort of roasting process for the heat treatment of, of these tops. Torrifying usually means that the top sort of is artificially aged and has some of the qualities of a very played in top. And that is exactly how I feel about this, uh, this guitar. It just really feels like a, a lovely played in old friend, really a great sounding guitar. Um, I'm gonna come back more to the um, tonalities of the instrument in just a moment. I wanna finish telling you about uh, the, the rest of the construction. Um, other upgrades from a standard uh, 314, of course, include the uh, edge burst finish uh, and combined with the slightly darker appearance of the, uh, the roasted top, I think it creates a really cool appearance on this guitar, both on the top and the back. It also has a slight edge burst uh, finish as well as the, uh, the area of the neck here, but, uh, at the heel as well as on the peg head. Um, we also get gold tuners rather than the standard uh, nickel color tuners that would be found on most um, 300 series guitars. And I really like this fire stripe pickguard uh, on this guitar. I'm not sure I've seen a fire stripe pickguard uh, on a tailor with the standard tailor shape. I think it looks really fabulous. Uh, you might recognize a fire stripe uh, appearance from some vintage guitars and I think combined with this edge burst finish and a slightly darker top. Uh, it just looks really great on this guitar. Um, we have the standard multi-ring rosette, the gemstone fingerboard inlays in the fingerboard. We have uh, standard black and white purfling, which again really kind of um, sets off this uh, edge burst finish in a, in a very cool way. And uh, overall, uh, to me, this guitar has the appearance of really a much higher end tailor than what I think of as a uh, 300 series guitars. And in a lot of ways, uh, this guitar really reminds me of the original uh, 514 CE uh, that was a very popular guitar for many years with fingerstyle players. That is a mahogany and cedar top guitar. And um, with this uh, torrified uh, spruce top, I think uh, we get some of this responsiveness that I would think of with a cedar top. So this guitar really kind of reminds me of those um, original mahogany and cedar 514s, which again resided at the uh, higher end of the, of the Taylor spectrum than what I think of as a typical uh, 300 series instrument. Of course, the guitar has Taylor's standard V-Class bracing. That's been a standard of uh, all Taylors from the 300 series on up uh, for several years now. And it includes Taylor's ES2 electronics. And I'll show you what those sound like. Play it through a, a little Fishman uh, Loudbox mini charge amp here at the end of this video. 
I uh, had the guitar in Datgat tuning for the uh, intro of this video, and again, it's a really fun guitar to play fingerstyle on. I think this Torrified top really kind of opens it up a little bit and makes the guitar a little bit more responsive to where even um, a very soft touch just yields a great response and nice tonal complexity. I'm back in standard tuning now, as you can probably tell. A great balance, uh, excellent response, and just a really fun guitar to play that way. A lovely fingerstyle instrument. Now, I always say this when I'm demoing uh, Taylor Grand Auditorium guitars, but they are very versatile instruments. Uh, some of them just lean a little bit more toward the responsive finger style side, while others tend to be uh, responding better to a heavier pick. Um, this kind of, again, falls sort of in the middle uh, and uh, really sounds lovely uh, played with a, with a pick as well. It just has that great versatility and dynamic range that uh, Taylor Grand Auditoriums have always been known for. And it's uh, worth mentioning in the context of these 50th anniversary guitars that the Grand Auditorium was originally introduced as uh, part of Taylor's 20th anniversary. So these guitars, these general models have been around for 30 years now and uh, have become Taylor's most popular instruments. So that is the 50th anniversary 314 LTD. I think it's a very cool variation on the uh, proven uh, 314 concept. Um, I think it pushes the guitar up a little bit more into the uh, mid-range or even the higher end of uh, Taylor's line. Uh, with its appearance and this torrified top and really the quality of the sapeli that is used on this guitar that really, uh, in my mind, makes it much more comparable to uh, a guitar that has uh, genuine mahogany back and sides. Um, very cool instrument. I uh, definitely recommend you check these out. There's also a beautiful commemorative label, a 50th anniversary label on the inside of the guitar. These are limited to uh, 1,974 guitars to uh, commemorate 1974. Uh, when Taylor first came around. Uh, so uh, these won't be around forever and I definitely think they're worth checking out. So my name is Taya Gherkin with Peghead Nation. I'll go out and show you what the guitar sounds like uh, plugged into our Fishman Loudbox Mini Charge Amp over here. Um, if you are seeing this on YouTube, uh, consider coming over to Peghead Nation, not just for our gear demos, uh, but for all our lessons for uh, various stringed and uh, fretted instruments, not just guitars. Subscribe to our channel and uh, we hope to see you again very soon. My name is Taya Gherkin. Thank you.